All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. Uh, the title of this video, Improving a Miata's Handling with a 3D Printer. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it's not actually clickbait. This will actually improve your Miata's handling by a marginal amount, but an amount nonetheless, with a 3D printer. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be 3D printing some door bushings for the uh, first generation NA Mazda Miata. These bushings are mainly to eliminate the problem of your doors rattling at high speeds or down bumpy roads, um, but uh, according to several sources I've read online, they do improve uh, the stiffness, the rigidity of the chassis by about 3%. It's not a whole lot, but if it's a time attack car and you're going for every little bit of min-maxing that you can, this is the mod for you. These door bushings I designed in CAD. Um, you can find them for sale online pretty readily, um, but I'm gonna be 3D printing them myself. If any of you guys are interested in a set of them, uh, I might play around with the idea of selling a couple sets of them, uh, but I'm not sure about that yet. Um, but yeah, I have designed here. Um, the I just took the design of the ones that are already on the car, and then I recreated them in uh, Autodesk AutoCAD and I'm going to be printing them out on my 3D printer behind me. I'm going to be printing them out in ABS plastic uh, which is a lot more rigid, a lot more stiff than the original rubber bushings that are in the car from the factory. This is my 3D printer right here. It is an XYZ DaVinci 1.0 uh, this one in particular is modified to run a different firmware. The firmware is called Repetier. Uh, it gives me the ability to uh, slice using different software uh, than the software that's intended for it. I can run external filament like you can see here on the side so that I don't have to buy uh, cartridges of it that are pretty expensive and not the best of quality. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the machine that I will be printing out the uh, door bushings with. Um, it should be able to handle it fine. I'm going to be using this um, black ABS uh, plastic right here. Uh, it should be stiff enough to handle the job. Um, it's not going to be under a ton of stress. This isn't the main structural component of the car, um, but it should improve the rigidity of the car just a little bit and at the very least uh, make it so slamming the doors doesn't sound so vague. I don't know how well you can see here, but uh, I have the uh, file loaded into Repetier Host. Um, Repetier Host is just the program I use uh, for having my computer communicate with the 3D printer. Um, so you can see it has it rendered here um, straight up. Since this side I designed to be flat, I'm going to actually rotate it so that it's sitting on that face like that. And then uh, it's already scaled so that it's the right size. I don't have to do any resizing. Uh, I'm actually going to go to, let me connect the printer. And then I'm going to slice it. Slicing it basically just converts the 3D file into instructions for the 3D printer. Speed, infill density. I'm going to try 100% infill um, just because I want this thing to be as stiff as possible. Infill basically just means that the uh, amount of material inside of this, so what you don't see here, how hollow it is. Uh, so 100% infill is solid, 0% uh, infill would be completely hollow. So yeah, I'm going to slice it. This is going to take an hour and 37 minutes to print. Um, and then you can see the layers. I'll do a layer range. You can see that it's completely solid. And uh, yeah, we should be good to go. I'll load the black filament into the printer and uh, I'll print it out and we'll see how it goes.
So I actually went ahead and printed out two of the bushings, one for each side. This is what they look like. Um, they're pretty, pretty standard. I mean, they look just like the uh, ones that were originally on the car. Now we can go ahead and actually install them on the car. So here's inside the door jam on the Miata. Here's the uh, original uh, rubber bushing here. Here's the uh, new one. You can see it's the exact same design as the old ones. These are uh, Phillips heads, or you could just use um, a 10 millimeter to take them off. And then it should just pop off. Yep, just like that. Here's the original bushing. Go ahead and take this out because we're going to be reusing this hardware. We'll set this aside. Here's the original one. Go ahead and install the new one, just like so. So as you can see, I don't have it fully snug down all the way. There's still a little bit of play in there um, because I need to see how it interacts with the door when you actually shut the door. Because, um, you know, if it's out of line and it doesn't line up with the door right, it could um, interfere with the door and prevent it from shutting. So I'll give it a couple test shuts on the uh, door and then it should tell me where it needs to be. Oh yeah, that's already a lot more, a lot more sound than it was before. So now it should be in place and I can go ahead and finish tightening those down. All right, so now you can see it's nice and snug down. We'll see how the door shuts now. Oh yeah. It's a lot more firm than it was before. No vagueness at all in there and it still looks like an OEM part in there. It's nice and black. We'll compare it to the other door. Here's the other door with the rubber bushing still in it. Uh, we'll compare the sound. Yeah, it sounds, the door sounds more hollow. And I can tell you firsthand driving this car on bumpy roads and stuff, these doors do rattle a little bit because of the vagueness uh, from the uh, rubber bushing. So yeah, that is one simple mod that you can do with 3D printer for the Miata to increase the performance of it by a very small amount, but an amount nevertheless. Um, but yeah, these were super easy to make. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, um, if anybody is interested in a set of these, um, I'll be willing to make a couple sets maybe and sell them. I'm not trying to make a living off of selling these, so I'm not going to charge an outrageous amount like some people do for them. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And be sure to subscribe for more Ecotech Miata content. I will see you all next time.